Welcome back everyone. OpenSea is a very popular website that's going to be making, you know, and breaking news very, very soon. Now I'll go and show you exactly how to use this website on a very basic level. This is not going to be anything crazy. You are not going to be an expert, but you're going to have a basic understanding. And hopefully by the end of this, it'll probably get you going into your like NFT cryptocurrency journey. But as always, completely do your research. Do not go and just like randomly invest in random stuff without doing your research. That is the number one thing. If you don't do your research, you're going to lose all your money. And I'm not selling you on anything. Just do your research before you go too far into it. Now, first of all, in order for you to actually even use OpenSea, you don't necessarily have to have an account to kind of look through. And if you want to just kind of look through random stuff that's going on, you can obviously do that. This I'm not even signed in. So you can just go through and, you know, look at different cryptocurrencies that are available. However, if you do want to start purchasing different things like this, you will have to have an account. Now, to make an account, you have to have a crypto wallet in the first place. So if you're using applications like Coinbase Wallet, MetaMask, different applications like that, then you'll basically be able to log in very easily. However, if you are not using those applications, you're going to want to sign up for those. So a great way to detect and see which ones you want to get are basically if you go on the top right, you'll see this little profile icon. You want to go and click profile right here, and it'll tell you you need an Ethereum wallet to use OpenSea. Ethereum is the framework that you can use. So here are a couple of options. Now you can click show more options right here and you can basically see all these different you know, wallets you can basically use. Now they do say MetaMask is the most popular one. I personally use Coinbase Wallet. So all you have to do is make an account on e any of these wallets. Now here's the thing, you're going to have to basically use this wallet to you know, purchase cryptocurrencies, to purchase NFTs, to do a lot of different things. So you have to make sure you not only make an account, but to make sure that you have all that data saved on your phone just in case something were to happen and you need access to that device as often as possible as well. So those are the big things to keep in mind. Now let's say we use Coinbase Wallet. Well, all we have to do is go ahead and they tell you exactly what to do. So you can use the Coinbase Wallet extension if you want to. And that did not work on my you know, device for some reason. So I had to go ahead and download the Coinbase Wallet app and they allow you to scan this within the application. And from there, once you scan it, this will pretty much make your account. So you can do the same thing with Wallet Connect with any of these things. You pretty much just scan the QR code. Same exact thing with MetaMask. Here, you can, I guess you can go ahead and log in. So this is the most important part. You want to make sure you go ahead and log in however you want to here. And that's pretty much it. Once you log in, you'll pretty much be prompted into this specific page. Now, this is my blank account. I still have to kind of fill it out. But this is the basic layout of your specific profile. So this will tell you all your history. Now, this is a private profile. If you want to go ahead and set it to public, you know, other people can search on the blockchain. I plan on making another one and then having that one on the blockchain. But this one is like whatever. Now, you probably won't be spending too much time in this area. Here, you just have your profile icon name, your wallet ID here, what time and when you joined as well as your specific NFTs that you own, the ones you collected, the NFTs that you created. So if you created any, you can go and drop them here. The ones you favorited, the ones that are hidden, and then your activity, things you've bought, things you haven't bought, different things like that. And as you can see on the left, there's a bunch of NFTs that we'll get into in a second. Now within this little drop down right here, it'll basically show you the exact same things that we talked about earlier. You can turn on night mode, you can log out. There's a settings panel too, which allow you to go and modify a little bit more settings. This little option right here will actually show you your wallet and how much you have in this specific balance. So you can add funds. And this is something if you're planning on buying NFTs, you can click add funds and you can actually purchase, you know, and, you know, deposit more to your balance right here too. So that's another big thing. You can click the drop down here. And if you ever have any, you can click the drop down here and log out. You can also refresh funds here. So if you know what you're doing, that's when you're basically dropping money into your OpenSea. Now, if we go and click the explore button, this is the fun part. If you click on explore, you will see a bunch of NFTs that are out there. Now, like I mentioned, do your research. Don't just go willy nilly and be like, oh, well, this one looks cute and then go into and buy it. You need to do your research in order to actually go through. Now, this is the part where you're kind of on your own. You have to kind of do your research and figure out, oh, which ones are the best. Now, CryptoPunks is a very, very popular option. I've seen a lot of people go and actually invest into these. So let's just use this for an example. Up here, you will see the profile, just like how we talked about the profile before on my blank one. Now, you can add this to your watch list right here. So if let's say I wanted to watch it, I don't want to buy it, but I just want to see what's going on with it. We can go into the watch list. You can also see their social media options here, as well as their Discord, which is a very popular thing with NFTs. It's basically the chat room basically for this thing. You can also see up here how many items are available. So 10,000 items they have, how many owners. So out of 10,000, there are 3.4 thousand individual owners 
You can also see the floor price, which is an attributor here. You can also see the volume traded. So you can also see how many, you know, crypto punks are being traded. And you can even see on an everyday basis that back in whenever this was October 27th, there were a ton of them traded. And now it seems to be averaging out to however many a day. And you can see which ones are being sold right here too. Since it's all on the blockchain, you can see who's selling what. So this one sold for, you know, $158,000, $281,000 two hours ago, and so on and so forth. So this is a very, very popular thing I would recommend you all to look at. So if I go on back into items, remember this volume traded option is a very popular one I'd recommend you to look at to see how much and how few or how many are being sold at a certain time. Now here you can see their actual NFTs. So as you can see, I mean, there's hearts, there's people who like all of them. So let's say we look into this one, right? And hey, I really like this one. Well, you can go ahead and see, you know, a description of it right here. It says credited by whatever. You can see here the price history, which there's no price history for this one. You can see who's owned it. And down here, you can also see more from this collection. Now, ultimately, this is, again, where you're going to have to do your research. You can click on these drop downs. So under properties, it basically tells you what, you know, specific characteristics this NFT has. And you can see this one has, you know, two attributes. It has a hoodie, mustache, and male. So if you're into that kind of stuff, again, do your research. You can see about CryptoPunks and it's a little bit of a description behind the project. And under details, it tells you a little bit more detail as well as a blockchain that it's on. Most of these are on Ethereum as far as I can tell, as well as the token ID and that contact address, which is essentially, I think, the Bitcoin wallet, which is essentially, you know, the blockchain wallet ID. Now hopping out of here, we can go back and essentially, again, you can go ahead and scroll through here. The basic layout is pretty much the same way on all these NFTs on OpenSea. And you can go and click here and see which ones are on auction, which ones are new, which ones so you can go and just click on buy now and see which ones are available now. You can also see which ones are on auction. So there's none on auction. There's some that have offers. So none of these are even for sale as far as I know. So they come and go. These ones are new. So you can go and look into these as well. And then you can see on the different chains. So Ethereum, Polygon. Like I mentioned, I think most of these are on Ethereum for the most part, as you guys can see. But that's really pretty much it for the outline for these ones. Again, you can see the accessories. So all of these are going to be different per NFT, but it's the same type of layout. For example, if we go and go back out, if we go and click back on Explore, you can see if we click on, you know, Realms of Ether or whatever, you can see the exact same layout. It's a little bit different. You know, these NFTs are completely different on both, but you can see the same exact layout. Chains here, on sale here, volume traded. Again, things you guys need to kind of be aware of. But that's pretty much that for this one, right? Now, if we go up to explore, you can see all these different things we can go ahead and actually kind of look into. Now, again, I would recommend you all to kind of look through each individual ones and see which type of NFTs you go more into. Now, some people are starting to go into more into like the virtual worlds with the metaverse and those types of things. So this is going to be a really big area, in my opinion. I have no idea. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but it's something I've been kind of hearing about. <laughs> So here you can go and do your own research here too and see which ones are going good. Now under stats, you can go and click stats. And this is basically what NFTs are kind of popping off right now and which ones are probably going to be popping off in the future as well. So you can see again, as you can see, Azuki is number one. You can see the volume of these NFTs, how much percent has changed in the last 24 hours and the last seven days. If you are familiar with the stock market, it's pretty much the same thing here too. It just shows you the volume and how many owners and how many items. So you can see on average, there's about two items per owner. So pretty cool. Same thing with this one. Same thing with Board Ape Yacht Club. This one is going crazy. For some reason it's going down 10%, which is kind of interesting because I've been hearing so much about this one and so on and so forth. And you can see CryptoPunks is down here and the Sandbox is another really popular one too. This is a metaverse project. So again, you're going to have to go ahead and go through here, but this is the basic layout. All of these numbers are going to change next week by the time you're watching this. These numbers are going to be all over the place, but you can also choose the last 24 hours, last 30 days, all time, the different categories that are available as well, the different chains that are available. Again, there's more than one blockchain. So that's another really, really popular thing to do. Now under resources, these are basically ways you can go and gain information and pretty much just kind of learn more about this platform too. So if you have, if you ever have any questions within, you know, OpenSea, you can go under their help center. You'll be going to this different page and you can pretty much see exactly, you know, any questions you may have. You can go ahead and see how to basically do all this stuff, sort of stuff. Now, Twitter just came out with this new little thing where you can actually make your own NFT, your profile picture. So this is kind of cool, I guess, if you're really into it. 
and we can go back. And so if you ever have any questions, I'd recommend going through here, buying and selling. I mean, if I didn't cover it in this video, it's going to be in here for sure. Now up top in the top right, submit a request. If you click there, if you ever have any problems, let's say you have issues with your account, if it's you know blocked or if it's banned, reported for suspicious activity, all these different types of things, all you need to do is go here, click on whichever one you're going to have problems with, and then you'll go and basically be able to contact them. So if I click this, you'll basically be able to type in your email subject and go through here. Very rarely do people have issues like this, but this is another big thing you kind of have to you know, be familiar with. I'm only talking as of now, but in the future, there may be some issues. So again, just keep your eye out on this just in case you need to go ahead and submit a request. Now exiting out of there and going back to this page under resources again, you can always contact and go on the uh, OpenSea social media pages by clicking here. They have a blog, they have a documents page, they have a newsletter as well. They have partners, platform status, but under gas free marketplace, there's also a little thing where, you know, there's gas fees associated with a lot of NFTs that you're going to buy. So you can go ahead and actually start creating gas free NFTs as well if you're into it. So that's another really cool thing. And under create, now this is a big, big one. I saved this for the last one. Essentially, if you want to create your own NFT, this is essentially the process to do it. Now, this is not a tutorial on how to create an NFT. Again, do your own research. I don't know really anything about it, but I know this platform. So essentially, if you know anything about NFTs and if you're ever planning on creating one, this is where you're going to go ahead and go through and actually start creating your own NFTs if you want to. You can, you know, this is where you go ahead and put in the images or all the images that you want. Again, max file size is 100 megabytes, so don't try to create a game and upload it here. You can go and, you know, type in the name, the external link if you have it stored somewhere else, the description of your specific, you know, NFT, the collection. So you can also go ahead and kind of say, you know, whether it's unlockable content, if there's any stats associated with those, any levels, properties, if it's explicit or sensitive content, you can also allow this too. And also the amount of you know quantity that's going to here. Now, so it looks like it can only be one at a time, but I guess it can be changed. And also the blockchain that you want this to be stored on. So if you want it here, you can also store it on Polygon as well, which is gas-free, which some of people may actually prefer. And then you can go ahead and click create and you've just created your own NFT. So again, there's like 30 billion tutorials on how to do this online. This is a very, very quick one, but that's another cool thing that some people may want to do. And ultimately, you can go and click here, and this is all the stuff we talked about earlier. You can go and click profile and come back to your profile page here. So that's pretty much a basic layout of how to use OpenSea. Again, this is not a full in-depth tutorial, but hopefully at this point you have a decent understanding of how to use OpenSea, and hopefully you guys you know enjoy your cryptocurrency NFT journey. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.